What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Having something of yours in your pocket, while in a store, that also sells that thing. I once brought in with me a bottle of water, and got hassled for it. And I was buying other items, so like yeah I really needed to steal, that 30 cent bottle of water. Anyway, they checked the cameras, and apologized rather unenthusiastically. Edit, to all the people asking me about the 30 cent water, I live in Eastern Europe, thus the low price of water and the moody condescending retail workers. As for the legal point of view, they didn't at any point detain me, one cashier stayed with me at the register, while another went to check the cameras. Of course I cold walked away, but I went there almost every day, and felt like I should stay, and clear things up. After I while I heard from some people, that at that same store, they walked in with some sodas, half empty and the cashier tried to take it out of their hands and scan it. I guess it's their thing. Fuck them and their rather run enthusiastic apology. They should have given a coupon or something. Take this meal voucher that doesn't work. Go fetch. We are gonna frame you for murder. Life is a fucking nightmare. I'm a little fat girl. Filling out government forms. I answer honestly, but constantly feel, like I'm going to misinterpret a question and somehow commit some manner of bureaucratic felony. Edit, damn, thanks for the upvotes and the metal, mysterious benefactors. Are the capture effect. Where things you've understood implicitly, and without error all your life suddenly become the world's most difficult questions. Does that count as a sign? Are those street lights? Does that count as a car? Am I a human or a robot? I don't know. Doing anything but in sight of a police car. They pull up behind me, and I'm suddenly running a list in my head of all the illegal things I might have done. Registration? Up to date. Car inspection? Up to date. Am I drunk? No. You actually don't drink. Hi. Not today. Weed? Safely hidden at home. For me the reason is, that they can literally make up a reason, to pull you over at any given time, and for anyone that says they can't, let me ask you this, does a court require proof, that you swerved, while driving if it's the cop's word against your own? What if I haven't cleaned my car out and there's something on the ground like a rock or donut glaze and the cop, that pulled me over for no reason says it's meth and now I have to go through hours or even days of bullshit, lose money from work, just to prove myself innocent edit, and in that case, when I was proven innocent for the fake drug charges, you better believe they'd still tack on a reckless driving, or whatever charges related to swerving. Like crossing the line on the road or something, and they wouldn't have to have a shred of fucking proof edit too. Fucking please prove me wrong, please guys, please show me one instance, all these things are public records that should be easy to find if it exists, I'm literally fucking begging you, and don't think you're special, because I'm copying and pasting this to every single person that says otherwise. Just as I have done many times over and not once has it been proven otherwise. Not even fucking once, it's so fucking sad, that you say you are part of this system and you don't even know how it works. That can't happen in many counties, I believe, maybe not that many, but, actually Denmark where I'm from there's a law, that says you're innocent, until the opposite is proven. Proven so it's the officer's job to prove you guilty, not your job to prove you innocent that way this shit don't happen, or can happen, unless there's something really fucked, in which case you'd be fucked anywhere you're from. Driving when near a cop. Everyone in front of me feels the same way. Speed limit of 80. Everyone cruising at 85. Cop passes, lights off. Everyone shows down to 75. I've had cops tell me they can't stand that. They want to go places too and everyone around them starts driving 10 under. Problem is you don't know which cops are the ones who have places to go, and which cops are the ones looking to fill their ticket quota. Yup. There's a particular road near me where a cop will drive exactly the speed limit, and wait for someone to pass him. The moment someone passes, they get pulled over. It happens almost every day, so people on that road, know not to pass the cop, when you see him. I had a cop sit near the turn to my college five days a week trying to catch students that are speeding, because they are late for class. One got me, when I was late to class. Except he was cool, and said late for class? Yeah, sorry. Just go slower from now on, okay? Going into Costco, eating all the free samples, then walking out. It's legal but I feel like a scumbag, when I do it'll mayo. That's probably how they want you to feel, so you feel obligated to buy something. Buy their gas. 
their gas, at least in my experience, is from Shell, and is always at least 10c cheaper than the cheapest gas in my area, cash only m slash pm store. Bringing home a newborn infant. Edit, first gold. Thanks, stranger. But the catch is, that it's gotta be yours, right? Just making sure. I know, but I'm pretty sure it's finders keepers. You anal? I thought that stopped babies from happening. Actually there's about a 1 slash 10 anal can result in a pregnancy due to a weird deformity in a handful of vaginal linings. I don't even do anal, and I now have a new fear thank you. Ripping off a few bananas, before you buy them from the grocery store, if you don't want the whole bundle. I once witnessed a friend of mine buy a single banana, and I was shook at it, my first award. Thank you. I did this all the time in college, especially before going out, it's the best way to get cash back. Only costs like 20 cents, you get your cash back with minimal spending, and you get a quick healthy snack. I go on lots of offer up slash craigslist deals, and my meetup spot is a gas station. My ATM charges insane fees, so I always do a banana transaction, and buy x1 banana for $0.80, compared to $3 ATM fee, and I complete the transaction for the cash back option and I sometimes eat the banana. Banana banking. There's always money in the banana stand. Walking through nothing to declare at the airport, and having a nagging concern, that just maybe you managed to pack 5 kilos of cocaine, a handgun, several tons of pest infested fruit and 2000 cigarettes over the tobacco limit point. It's always a gamble, but I've been lucky so far. I accidentally took a fairly large knife onto a flight from the US to UK once, in cabin luggage, and all was fine until I landed. As I was heading over to nothing to declare I was pulled aside. Explaining that away was tough, and it was confiscated. I don't see what the point was at that point. I'd forgotten to hijack the plane so what's the harm in me bringing a completely clean knife into the country? Conversely I accidentally tried to take a plastic knife from some fancy dress outfit onto a flight from France to the UK, but was pulled aside by French airport security. A friend of mine once came through airport security, to wait with me at the gate before a domestic flight. She was pulled up by the security scanners for having four forks in her bag she'd completely forgotten about and nearly got escorted out. Turning the light on inside the car when you're driving. I called my mom out, when I realized recently it's not illegal you lied to me, you know what this woman says? Are you sure? My mom always told me it was illegal 53 years my mother believed her mother's lie, and passed it on to her kids. 53 years. This seems like exactly the kind of thing, that led to aboriginal peoples developing rituals, to bathe in mud or bury the dead or something. Centuries from now we'll turn out the lights in our starships, because it's illegal to blot out the stars. Driving 250 plus km slash h on the German autobahn. Especially when crossing the border from another country and you can drive so much faster, that you're used to from the country you made holiday in. The autobahn is fucking terrifying. I remember when my ex let me drive her car for a while. I pulled out to pass someone, just as I noticed a BMW in the rear view mirror. By the time I'd pulled back over into the slow lane, it had already gone flying past me. Truly insane speed, it felt like I'd stumbled onto a Formula 1 track by accident. Yeah some people really floor it. Interestingly, the distance adjusted death rate is quite a bit lower on the autobahn, compared to generic routes. It's routine on the autobahn for police, to ticket for people driving slowly in the left lane. As long as everybody follows the rules, it works out safely, and the Germans are sticklers for following the rules. Except. Thems was the rules though. This isn't my original idea, but going through customs at the airport you always feel, like you've done something wrong like what, if I accidentally have a gun. I don't even own a gun, but what if I accidentally have a gun? How would I explain that? Is this pen I packed on the list of banned items? What if it is? What if I accidentally brought a knife? What if I accidentally have fireworks? I definitely accidentally brought a knife before, I'd taken it to work to cut up an apple for snack, and forgot to take it out. They did pull my purse, when it went through the scanner, but luckily that sad agent just laughed, and let me throw it away. Now I think about, that every time I go to the airport. Also, is this 1.2 ounce bottle of lotion somehow over the 3 ounce limit? Walk into an Ulta beauty store, and spraying some expensive cologne from the tester bottle, before going to your interview. Update, no I don't overdo it, I like light smells, too heavy and I get a headache as well. 
something that's fresh, because I want to feel like a new car going into an interview or a date, or wherever I have that's somewhat important, or gives a good first impression. I once went into Ulta, and left with a full face of Macube from trying new things. I didn't buy anything, and probably would have felt guilty, but I was tipsy. Don't feel guilty, feel disgusted. Samples are almost impossible to disinfect. I mean, so are urinal cakes, doesn't stop me from licking them. Now that's a fucking curse comment. A cake is a cake, dude. Walking out from a shop without buying anything. For real. The worst thing for me is, when I spend 10 plus minutes in a store looking for one thing, and one thing, only to find they do not have it. So I end up buying at least a soda. IDKY, it's like I know I've done nothing wrong, but I have some weird fear of being accused. Exactly. Especially walking past the cashier always feels a bit wrong, that fear's really there. Funny how we fear, being judged by random ass people, and how intense it can be. Chances are the cashier was thinking of something entirely different about something going on in their life. When I was working in retail, and people walked out without checking out, I'd think to myself, they probably just didn't find what they wanted. But they probably think, that I think they they stole something, 